Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you my comparison between my first Coda bag and second Coda bag, my Birkin 25, my Kelly 25. And also in this video, I will be sharing with you my new Zumoni bag organizer for my new second Coda bag, which is Hermes Kelly 25. And lastly, I will share with you in this video what happened, what I found out, while I was filming my unboxing of my new Hermes Kelly 25. So I recently uploaded my video uh, about my unboxing. So during that time, I found something in this bag and I immediately messaged my essay, my sales associate, uh, about what I found out. So I have to take her back to the boutique on Sunday. So I made an appointment, so I have to take her back um, to the boutique for them to inspect to check the bag and I believe they will send this to Beverly Hills um, to check the item So before we get started, I wanted to give a shout out to my first commenters from my last video. Thank you, thank you so much for all the love and support. Please continue to support me as I grow in this luxury community. Also for those who are new here, please follow me on my socials which I will leave it up here and also in the description box. So let's get started. So like what I was saying, upon my unboxing of this new Kelly 25, the flap side, when I was unboxing this, I actually didn't mention it in my unboxing video. I thought it's not gonna bother me, but after I filmed my unboxing, when I checked it again, I felt like I really need to tell this to my essay because this is quality issue. I already uploaded my video, my unboxing video, um, my pre-spending. So if you guys are interested to watch that video, I will link it in the description box. So when I open the flap right here, when I flip this flap, so underneath, there is this black stain right here. I don't know if you can see that. I should not be bothered because it's underneath the flap. However, uh, if you're a client, and you're paying so much for this bag you want it flawless right that's why just for peace of mind that's why i have to inform my essay which i did i texted my essay immediately because instead of me being silent about it not telling her what i discovered about the black stain right there because this is a new bag i mean i haven't used it and i just unboxed this bag at that time so i was really surprised when i found out about this black stain it looks like it's not glazing because there's no glazing here i think or maybe th this part there's glazing but underneath here i don't know but i'm hoping that they'll be able to fix it uh so we shall see what they're going to tell me this is a barania for board leather so i know this is a very delicate bag it scratches easily and it does patina over time over time not like immediately compared to louis vuitton but to me i know maybe some people might say oh because that's a barania for borg it stains or it gets scratches or whatever but to me i'm okay if i did that scratch or i stained it or I did something to my bag because I'm the one who did it to my bag. But receiving a brand new bag that has stain, but for me, that's not acceptable because this is a brand new bag and you'll get a stain, black stain here. I haven't even worn this. I just unboxed this. So to me, they need to do something about this. But I'm glad my SA was so kind and she said just take it back and they're going to take a look at it she's gonna send it to beverly hills and i made sure that this is complimentary and she said yes no charge because i just got the bag it is brand new um i just bought it and when i sent her the the picture i i put a timestamp when i um did my unboxing 
I sent it to her, um, you know, just to make sure that I don't have any issues because I already have this in my possession. Here's the thing that I did not unbox it right away because I don't normally unbox all of my purchases. Usually I don't immediately unbox it like the same day. It may, it will take like days or weeks. For this particular one, I unbox it after a week, um, exact one week when I unbox this one. So anyway, I'm, I'm happy that my SA is going to do something about it. For now, I am just going to take a look at this beautiful bag, but uh, I'm not sure what's gonna happen, so we shall see. I have my Zumoni bag organizer here. I already purchased this, so I wanna make sure that this is going to fit perfectly. So I'm going to do that in this video as well. So if you notice, I'm not wearing any rings because I don't wanna scratch this or I don't wanna damage the bag, right? so we want to make sure nothing's gonna happen with the bag i was very very careful during that time so um i really love this bag and especially this is it's like this is the heritage leather faubourg is the street in paris where the flagship store is so it is really really special for me because i went to the hermes flagship store that's why when I found out that this is Varenia Faubourg and Faubourg is the street uh, in Paris, I was really, really excited. Although I know that this is a little bit delicate because of the, you know, it's prone to scratches, I believe. However, I saw a video, it's a short video. It has the Varenia Faubourg leather uh, with a fob color. This color is similar to gold. Um, gold tan um, like the classic color she has that the same the same leather and she scratched the leather itself she just buffed it with her finger and it's gone so someone so some people say when you scratch the leather you can just buff it and it's going to disappear so it's like similar to chanel lambskin leather if you scratch it so when you buff it with your fingernail it's gonna go away so I was impressed when the lady, when the when that girl did that in her video, when my SA offered me this bag, I was really excited. Although this is a little bit more uh, compared to the regular leather, which is the Togo leather, but I'm okay because finally I have my second Koda bag. And since this is a premium leather, the heritage leather, you there is a very strong leather scent or leather smell and it's really really nice i really love the leather once i open the dust bag you can immediately smell the the leather scent or the leather smell yeah so so now let's talk about the comparison between my birkin 25 versus my kelly 25. so as you can see the dimension the measurement they are both 25 but this one still looks bigger than the kelly but I, I have my measuring tape here, which I will try to measure them, both of them. So this is 25 centimeters, okay? And for the Kelly, it is actually 24 centimeters. I don't know why they said this is 24 centimeters this is not 25 this is still small let me lay it down like that let us just take a look at the bottom part i hope you guys can see it so this is 25 and this one is this 24 centimeters but probably they just say this is 25 but the reality this is 24 centimeters this is actually not 25 let's take a look at the sides of the bags this is 13 centimeters I hope you can see it it's 13 centimeters this is 10 and a half this is 10 and a half centimeters so that is 
the measurement then we're going to do the height I'll probably do it here on the back probably here the height will be 18 and a half centimeters for the Birkin so 18 and a half centimeters for the Birkin for the height and then for the Kelly it is actually 17 centimeters okay so 17 centimeters and then okay let's take a look at the back the drop of the handle so from the top we have eight centimeters for the Birkin but for the Kelly 25 it is more it is about 10 or 9 nine and a half so it is nine and a half for the Kelly and also Birkin 25 does not have a long strap compared to um, the Kelly this one has a long strap so the Birkin has two top handles while the Kelly has one a little bit big top handle compared to the Birkin but it comes with the leather long strap the long strap for the Kelly this one it's just one size there's no adjustment for the size so there's no adjustment for the strap so this one is removable so just a little tip when you attach the long strap to the d-ring here this one should be pointing this way not on the other side otherwise this part is going to scratch the top handle so so I saw uh, I think a video or maybe um, on Instagram so this part should be pointing outward well actually it's really hard to attach it here so and this one the d-ring here is not movable it's just it's fixed so it's not moving so yeah so that is the back of the Kelly let's talk about the anatomy of the Birkin and also the Kelly so I'm gonna start off with the Birkin so for the Birkin we have two handles so this one is the Tourette and then this is the Ponte I know I need to remove the the plastic or the protective sticker I'll do it eventually I'll do it so this is the plaque and it has a stamp here Hermes Paris also here there is a foil stamping here that says Hermes Paris made in France and then this too you call this sangles and then this one is the tirette and here is the lock this is the clochette it comes with two keys that has numbers and the number should match with the lock right here I still have all of the protective stickers yeah so that's the lock that's the clochette and then we have four feet here I still have the uh, protective stickers here so there's two letters here for the feet so this is the back this is the back of the strap okay so that is the anatomy of the Birkin so anatomy of a Kelly bag so this is the top handle which we already measured earlier and this is the flap so this is the tirette this is the clochette with two keys I, the keys are identical to the lock this is the lock these are the sangles the leather part is the sangles and this is the plaque the plaque has Hermes Paris uh, engraving here by the way this is in gold my Birkin is also gold and then this is the Tourette we have the double ring here one two the double ring on both I have my twilly so sorry if you can't see it but those two are the double ring right there and 
we have four feet here but this one does not have the leather part like the the birkin has the leather part i really love the smell it smells like equestrian and i love horse because horse is my ally aside from the pig that's why i think i have like good luck with horses so this is the equestrian hermes is more on the equestrian i feel like hermes is a good luck for me because they have the horse see my rodeo my horse charm the smell of the barrenia for borg is like an equestrian store the leather is so rich and it's divine i love the scent of the leather i love the the richness the beautiful scent of this leather it's really really strong when you have it in front of you you will immediately um, recognize the strong scent i really love this bag yeah so that is the difference between the two so both of these bags have the rain protection so if you guys haven't seen the rain protection i actually shared it before i believe it is the same rain protection for both so just to show you guys how it looks this is how is the rain protection look like in case there's a rain you can do that so when there's rain you can protect your bag with the rain coat or rain protection this is how it looks so it's going to be similar with the Kelly. The Kelly has the raincoat uh, protection too or rain protection. You've already seen how the raincoat look like. So I'm not going to try it with that because we don't want to ruin the bag. Well, hopefully they'll be able to fix it immediately because I needed it for my daughter's graduation. So anyway... So this is the inside of the Birkin. Let me remove my Zimoni bag organizer. I have the thin version, 1.2 millimeter felt, and this is the color Heather Gray. So it comes with this small pouch for my keys, my lipstick. So it has four pockets here and also one pocket on the side and this is very thin and because I don't need a thick version of the bag organizer I actually ordered that first but once they came out with the thin version I immediately ordered this one and yeah because I don't really need a thick version for this bag because it's structured it's not a slouchy bag it's a structured bag so I don't need a uh, thick version so anyway so this is how it looks so the Birkin has this one uh, compartment here one big compartment and there is this when you open it there is a zip pocket right there I don't know what leather is this made of the inside it's a different leather it's thicker and looks like it's um, scratch proof looks like it's not prone to scratches but anyway so this is my Birkin so later on I will show you what fits with the Birkin so that's my Birkin and now this is the Kelly the interior of the Kelly is really small it's the raincoat and also the card the rain protection so when you open the flap similar to the Birkin it has this pocket here hope you can see it so it has a pocket and one zip pocket in the back similar to the Birkin I think it's the same type of leather for the interior so it's like not prone to scratches and also for the date stamp I just discovered that the date stamp here is actually on this part right here and this one is letter U which is for 2022 yeah so and this one the 
for the Birkin. The date stamp is right here and it's also U, which is 2022. And I got this in 2022. This one, because it's very, it's rare, they don't produce this, um, they don't really produce this so much. And it's rare to offer this bag. That's why this was produced last year. And I asked my friend, does it bother you if the bag is from last year? And she said, it doesn't matter. It doesn't bother her because as long as it's not more than one year. I think last year is okay because they don't really produce Varenia for Borg. They don't often produce this uh, type of leather, a Varenia for Borg. So I guess this was the last production that they have. My essay assured me that this was brand new, came from Paris when she got this. So, so my essay told me that they just got this um, a week before I got before I schedule my appointment to pick it up so when my SA informed me she has this bag she just got it and it was shipped directly from Paris this is probably the last production for this particular Barania for Borg so it doesn't matter anymore if it was produced the date stamp is U U is for 2022 but B is for 2023 so to me, it doesn't matter because they rarely produce Barania for Borg leather for any of the bags, whether Birkin or Kelly. For Barania for Borg, usually the stamp here that says Hermes Paris made in France, it is a blind stamp. It is not the foil stamping here. So it's blind stamp. So while the Birkin has the foil stamp in gold, whatever the color of the hardware is also the same as the stamp here. But the stamp, I feel like it's very light. It's not really uh, a strong or hard stamp. But this one is really a hard stamp but without the foil. So similar to the, to the strap, it has a stamp here. I don't know if you can see it it's blind stamp there is no foil or anything it's just heat stamp now I'm going to share with you this Zumoni bag organizer that I ordered so this is the Zumoni bag organizer I got this in the thin version which is 1.2 this is the thin version 1.2 millimeter felt material this one has two pockets, uh, I mean four pockets inside. There is a pouch here. This is the tag. Um, this is for Kelly25. And here is the thank you card from Zumoni. Zumoni is from South Korea. I love their products. I've been getting all their products. Bag organizer and also the premium dust bag from Zumoni. They have excellent customer service, very friendly. Uh, anything that you need, any problems that you have, you can uh, message them. Um, you can also do a customized order. So just message them through email and also they have fast shipping service. So nothing beats Zumoni. You will receive your products immediately. It's not gonna take two weeks, only one week. Sometimes it only takes five days. So yeah, um, they ship very, very fast. They ship the products very quickly, so it will arrive to you very fast. So if you guys are interested, I have a discount code, which is MM 20 for 20% off. I will leave the link in the description if you guys are interested for Zumoni bag organizers. So similar to my Birkin, this is the Zumoni bag organizer. And now I will try to fill this in. You can fill a lot of things with this with a Birkin 25 than the Kelly 25. So obviously this is bigger, this is smaller because this is 25 and this is 24 centimeters. Did I mention about the pouch? This is the pouch that comes with the, with the organizer because other organizers, they don't include this one. You have to purchase this. But with Zumoni, it comes with this pouch. So what fits in this? 
Kelly 25 and also Birkin 25. So I will fill this one up first. Guys, I'm going to try to fill in with this organizer. So I have my mini pochette. I'll put it right here. I have my Ulysses notebook from Hermes. I have my hand lotion. And then I have my Twilly the Hermes perfume. I was trying to thinking of putting this um, this is the sparkling water looks like the bottle is not going to fit so I'll just leave it like that so let's put it back this is the rain protection of course you always need one and this is like the lotion uh, some perfumes here yeah so two uh, Hermes powders blush and the powder and then my irresistible like lip gloss put it on the side and then key fob i will use this little one the pouch that comes with the bag so we can place it right here so this is what fits with the kelly 25 and and this is my hermes scarf which i will just leave it on top like that and of course the water bottle it's not gonna fit with my kelly 25 so that's all that fits in my kelly 25 bag organizer and now let's fill this one up let's put it on the side and then probably the lotion my hermes twilly um perfume this is irresistible lip gloss my ulysses notebook this is the rain protection mini pochette this one has my wallet and everything I have this little pouch for a little something we are filling this one with that and then let's change the pouch and this is the pouch for my Birkin here is wow it fits so nicely and of course, this is my Hermes scarf. This is for the Birkin. So, this is only one centimeter difference with the Birkin 25. So, Kelly is uh, only one centimeter less than the Birkin 25. So, if you remember, we measured this is 25 centimeters and this is 24 centimeters. And that is it for today's video let me know if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below i hope this answers some of your questions already and if you still have more questions leave it in the comment section below and please stay tuned for more unboxings shopping vlogs and reviews and also my upcoming uh, giveaway hopefully i'll be able to post it soon and i think that is it for today's video and if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and also hit that notification bell. If you think this video is very useful, you can buy me a coffee by sending me super thanks. And as always, thank you so much for all the love and support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!